Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine today, man. Today, I have an announcement that a lot of people are gonna be really happy about, man. We're bringing vlogs back to the channel starting today, like right now, man. This is the first vlog back on the channel episode. I don't even know what episode. I'm gonna have to go back and look it up. 100 something. It's pretty cool, man. It's gonna be a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes of the podcast that I felt like bringing the vlog back for you guys would be instrumental for the channel. If we're gonna be the most underrated sneaker channel, Oh, man, we need to have vlogs, we need to have sneaker reviews, we need to have sneaker content on the podcast, and we need to have all that shit cracking. So to kick off today's vlog, we're looking for a building, man. Dal and I are looking for a building, like a workspace of sorts. It would be really dope if it was retail space, but it doesn't have to be. But we're trying to find a building where we can set up Most Underrated Studios as a full operation. We can shoot all our video content there, obviously the Most Underrated podcast from there. And now that we're getting all our merch coming in, we're going to need a place to store all that, a place to run that operation, ship out merch to you guys purchasing merch from the channel. Channel, shipping out sneakers, shipping out uh, thrift finds, vintage stuff that we have in the shop that'll be listed on the Instagram. This is going to be a full-fledged operation. That's why I wanted to bring the vlog back because I want to bring you guys behind the scenes. You're basically going to be helping us create a business from the ground up, man. And uh, I couldn't be more excited. I feel stupid that I waited this long to try to pursue a building and do this other stuff, but stuff works out when it's supposed to, you know what I mean? So anyway, for today's vlog, Dal and I have been looking at buildings the past couple days. I'll be uh, showing you guys some of that footage. I'm gonna turn around and clean, look at this, how I'm bare right now. I was just about to clean this all up before I went live, I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. It's the vlog. It's got to be authentic. This is what it is. My sneaker room looks like dog shit. It's messy as hell. I got some real organizing to do. I got some shoes I need to sell. So I'm going to get all this together. You guys can check out that footage from the past two days of us checking out buildings and shit. And then we're going to take a look at the Jordan 1 Fearless when I get back. Yes, the pair that drops November 2nd. We got them super early. Shout out to my plug, man. Thank you for coming through on these for me. This is a pair that I wanted as a personal because as a lot of you know, the 2003 Chicago pair is the pair that actually got me in the game, man. This is the very first big time sneaker purchase I ever made. So this is the shoe that got me in the game, 2003 Chicago. And the Fearless is basically the UNC pair and the Chicago pair that both dropped in 2003 put together. So I'm really excited to get those in today. Check them out with you guys. All right, so that's what's gonna be on the vlog today. I'm gonna get to cleaning all this crap up right now, trying to organize this stuff. You guys check out the uh, building search with me and Dal and I'll see you back here in a few minutes to take a look at the Jordan 1 Fearless. You see Ted filling up the love tank, posting that picture on Instagram? I did. Uh, of the home and the dogs. Uh -huh. and he's filling up the love tank too in his own way, making it feel, yeah. you know, he's like in Japan. He knows like what you said, holding yeah. them down and shit. Yeah. He's kind of filling up the love tank. Trying to throw her uh, a bone here and mm -hmm. there. I didn't see that. That's funny. Dude, we, we got to watch when we get to your house. Let's watch just a little bit of Kais's new cast just so you can see it. Yeah. Um, Dude, I think people, I think people are kind of getting tuned into us. What do you mean? I think for me, the formula that we've put out there was unlike anybody else doing a podcast, right? Because we set up as a radio station, especially in sneaker YouTube, nobody's doing that. Kaisa's, because uh, I watched his old ones, and his old ones were just interviews, right? Yeah. This one, however, is has some filtering to it and has an agenda to it that really resembles ours. And I'm not saying they're biting, not at all. But I'm saying that we are probably rubbing off on people, and I think do it consistently. Do it, do it for a year straight. Yeah. Do it consistently. Get, get, good luck getting three people together consistently. We did twice a week. We do twice a week. Good luck yeah. getting three people together once a week consistently. Especially you, you fools. Well, and he's not even trying to. He's going to fly every, uh, he's taking, because they're doing it in, uh, in the Bay. And he lives in LA. Yeah. So he's having to take a flight every other week. Oh, so it's, they're doing every other week show and he's flying there? Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, flying there every other week, yeah. You think that's going to stay consistent? I mean, no. Ultimately, it doesn't sound like it. No. How's that going to stay Dude, Harrison, which is cool. I like Harrison. I don't think it's Harrison. I think it's Harris. Is it? Oh, it, <laughs> damn it. It's Harris. It is Harris. You're right. Fuck. Uh, it is Harris. You're right. Damn it. Bitch, don't speak my name. Bless you on the flames. Cause I ain't got no time to be investing in your games. I just want the money. I just think it's funny. That you out of hating. Think you taking something from me. Taking something. Yeah, shitting on me just to get my attention. I've been down this road. 
wrote, I done learned me this lesson before. There's a bunch of offices in that in that building, so we'd be sharing with a bunch of people. But there was a kitchen. There's like a hotel above it. I mean, it looks super sick, but yeah. I don't know if it's in the the price range. Price yeah. is a little high. Well, it's a little high, but I mean, it's far from where we're at right now. We'd be driving. You know who I thought you was. Now this liquor got me buzzing. It's not for none. Going in on this chick, I won't stop for none. So sick and tired of you just popping up. All right, man. Day two, looking for a building. The new most underrated studios. The homie Dow Palantonio. Chili out here is what it is. Oh, another d different solar pack. Look, today. mix and matching. Not good. Not good. Yeah, you're, you're gonna get flamed. Solar green, solar yellow. Dang, solared out. I'm in Dow Palantonio. Hey, you're solared a little bit too. A little bit. A little bit. All right. Building number two. Building two. Yeah, I'm at the club, I'm spending hundreds down. Drop it for me now. Drop it, drop it for me down. Hey. Alright, we were lost. Now we're really on the way to the location, and we've been doing a lot of these are really not the best walking shoes. We got the walking shoes on though. Not the best walking shoes, but we're about to meet up with Caroline. Is her name Caroline? Caroline. Caroline's about to show us our way. Apparently her in Dallas were they were doing a lot of butt sniffing on the phone. <laughs> Very excited. Besties. So besties on the phone. So I'm excited to see this place. Focus trying to find my way. Stumbled on my time and place. See, I done chased the minor things and raced against the violent pace. Seeing pain inside my face, but always focused on the prize that waits. I don't need nobody co-sign. Live my life and see it's going fine. Ain't nowhere close to the goal line. Found my diamond in this cold. All right, guys, we're back home. As you just saw, we got two pairs of Jordan Fearless, which we'll get to the review in a second. But just to wrap up the building stuff from the past couple days, uh, we haven't liked any of the buildings fully yet, man. There was things we liked about it, things we didn't like about it, whether it be too far, too expensive, out of the budget, whatever. Just different stuff that wasn't gonna work out for us. So we'll continue the building search on the next vlog. And uh, I think that's gonna be Real versus Fake, Travis Scott's. So uh, I'll give you guys the breakdown on that, Real versus Fake, make sure you tune into that one. But for this one, man, the Jordan One Fearless. So let's go ahead and get into those. And let me just start by saying, I have my size in a size 12, and then I have this size in a size nine. But the reason I have this is I did not think I was gonna be able to get my size 12 right away. And I wanted to have the shoe early and have the review for you guys. Of course I wanted the shoe, this is one I was looking forward to, but, $400 resale, that's what I paid for this size nine. I was like, I'll take it. I figured I could do the review for you guys, flip it, and then hopefully get my size at retail on release day, or hopefully something comes through. Something came through. I ended up getting a size 12, my size, so now I didn't really need the size nine. So I'm gonna put them up for you guys. These are going for over 500 on GOAT right now. If somebody gives me 425 shipped, I'll, you'll be, we'll be good. That's the 400 I paid plus shipping. Size nine, 425 shipped. Twitter, Instagram, first person to DM me. And uh, Venmo, PayPal, size nine, 425 shipped, man. It'll be early, these drop November 2nd. So I'm just trying to get my money back on them. If nobody wants them, cool, I'll flip them on GOAT. Like I said, that's the plan. But if one of you guys want them, I'll give them to you for basically what I paid. Now, let's get into the shoe. So first things first, the box label. Actually, this one has the, uh, the retail thing is torn there. So let me show you the size 12. That one's got the full thing. Now, the box label on this one is kind of crazy. You notice Jordan brand has been switching up the box labels a lot. Everything from all the new Travis Scott drops, the, the long little thin white joint to the, this is almost like a GR. Me and Dallas were talking about that on the podcast the other day, like the, the all black GR Jordan box. That's what that box label looks like. Also, you notice the switch up on the box, the all red box with the black hits instead of the all black box with the red hits, your standard Jordan one. This is just inverted there. So let's get these bad boys opened up here. Oh, also inside, new paper as well. Just repeats the same thing, it says limits like fears are often just an illusion. And that's actually a quote from Michael Jordan's 2009 Hall of Fame speech. 
So that's kind of, um, that's the theme throughout this whole sneaker. Now let's pull these out the box, man. These are super sick. Right out the uh, box, they just punch you in the face. They got three lace bags hanging there, so you get four total pairs of laces. You get the black joint in there, and then you get these three hanging in there. As far as people looking for maybe ways to compare real and fakes, there's been a lot of different lace bags these days. These joints come in a clear lace bag, no red stripe at the top, no Jordan or Jumpman or anything. And then on the other shoe, on the right shoe, you have a Jordan hang tag. It's a Wings logo, hang tag. It's got the Fear logo there. And then same quote as the paper, limits like fears are often illusion, Michael Jordan's signature. So that is attached to the right shoe and then your laces on the left shoe. Last thing in the box, you get one of these cards as well, same kind of thing, quote, Jordan signature. Like I said, it's a theme throughout the packaging. Yo, a crazy wasp just flew in front of my shit. Oh. I'm about to get fucking stung. I'm about to get stung. On camera. Should we kill him with the fearless? Damn, this is the pair. This is the one I wanted to sell, too. This is the size nine. Oh! 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 Ho. <gasps> oh, oh, he, he's on to me now. Yep, yep, we're in some trouble. We're in some trouble. There he is. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. There he is, chilling on that box. About to mess me up. Look at him, look at him. He smoked. We just gotta let him die out in there. Lock box, locked him. Boom, he's toast. My man's locked. Look at, there he is. Whew, holy, oh, what? Look at, look at the art of war back here. Look at the battle, the battle scene. Oh man, your boy is shaking over here, whoo. All right, we, let's get back to the review here. Let me, I don't, look at that, look at, nothing on the heel though. I have no idea how there's not guts or anything, but maybe them shits don't, maybe they, they ain't got a soul, so maybe they ain't got guts, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, look at that. Fool's about to stab me, I was low-key scared, bro. I was, I was low-key scared. I was about, you know what I was about to do? I was about to go Stone Cold Steve Austin on his ass with a chair shot. All right, enough with the bullshit, man. Let's get back to the review. Where the hell were we at? I think we we're finishing out the packaging. We're done with this size nine. If you guys want the size nine, like I said, 425 shipped, DM, Twitter, Instagram, Venmo, PayPal, ready to go, all that shit. All right, now let's look at the shoe, some of the lacing. Here we go, man, the Jordan 1 Fearless Bang. Woo hoo, look at these joints, man. Laced up and shit, are these cold? What? I really, really, I love the way they shine. I really, really like this shoe a lot, man. This shoe is, uh, once you lace them up, the shoe is just tight. So let's start there, let's start with the lacing. Like I said, you get the Carolina blue laces, the black laces, the red laces, and the white laces. I decided to lace my pair up like this. I went uh, the same way on both shoes. This is probably how I'm gonna rock them. I like that color blocking with the blue up top, so I match the blue laces. And then the black is just, classic Chicago Jordan 1. So you're kind of looking at the front right there, boom, it just looks like a Jordan 1 Chicago. So I kind of just like that look in the front and then a little, a little crazy with the Union style lacing. I promise you the lacing video is coming soon, man. The uh, I'm waiting for, I have a lacing sponsorship that I need to uh, talk about in that video as well as an insole sponsorship because if you don't want the laces hanging out under your shoe, you gotta switch out the insole. That's part of the trick with the lacing. So thank you for being patient. I apologize, it's just business is business. Moving on from the laces, let me tell you something first of all, the toe box. I have done the on feet in these. So I've kind of stepped around just a little bit. These are gonna crease like crazy, man. Just like any patent leather Jordan 1. I mean, this is how they look after, I don't know, I've worn these not, not crazy amounts, but a few times. This is all patent leather, just like the Fearless. And uh, that's kind of how they wear over time. It's kind of get a little bit bumpy. Little, a lot better than what they used to be. It kind of, uh, the patent leather, I mean, people are really worried about creasing. 
this one didn't really crease. It's just kind of a little bit, just a little bit bumpy. So I felt like, I feel like this uh, gold toe Jordan 1 wears really, really well. What I would say on this, uh, look at the old, look at the old joint, man. This is the Chicago Jordan 1 from 2003. Like I said earlier, look at this. Look at the creasing you get on these, man. These are a lot different ball game there. And then on the sides too. Um, let me see, let me turn this down a little bit. Look at the sides, kind of have that creasing in there. These were hard, man. The swoosh was suede on this one. It is not on the Fearless. It's just standard patent leather, just like the gold toes, just like a lot of the patents. This one from back in the day, this is like the new buck or the suede on the uh, swoosh. Also, you notice the theme from the old 2003 pair. So this is how it is on the Fearless. It's pretty similar. Uh, I think this is a little bit brighter orange. This is more of like a gold on this one, but it's pretty similar. Inside the shoe, actually, since I got this one laced up and I don't have this one laced up, let me show you guys the insole on this one. Just a lot easier. So you've got, it says Fear with the strike through it. And then you've got the uh, same quote there from the Michael Jordan Hall of Fame speech. Boom, boom. I think that is about all on these, man. Make sure you guys check out the on feet in a second. I did all four lacing options in the shoe for you guys. Yes, we're putting in that work over here on the most underrated sneaker channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me the first vlog back, man. I'm excited for the journey. And uh, thank you to everybody rocking with the most underrated podcast, man. We talk the best in sneakers, sports, pop culture, nostalgia from the 80s and 90s. It's an all around good time, man. So if you haven't already, give us a listen. As always, thank you guys for supporting everything I do. I love the shit out of y'all and I will see you fools tomorrow. Bitch, don't speak my name Bless you on the flames Cause I ain't got no time to be investing in your games I just want the money I just think it's funny That you out and hating Think you taking something from me Yeah, been shitting on me just to get my attention I've been down this road, I done learned me this lesson before yeah. I ain't got time to be stressing I'm counting these blessings So fuck you and all of the rest of these hoes You the long way, yeah. I'm doing the dumb shit. Yeah. Been working hard all day. Yeah. Just leave me alone, bitch. Damn, you not who I thought you was. Now this liquor got me buzzing, it's not for nothing. Going in on this chick, I won't stop for nothing. So sick and tired of you just popping up. Wherever I'm at, just to call the scene. Learning this life, it ain't all of the scenes. And to cut that bitch up, man, that hard to leave. Ain't tripping no biggie, it was all a dream. But fuck it down. I'm at the club, I'm spending hundreds down. Drop it for me now. Drop it, drop it for me now. Hey. Flames. I ain't got no time to be invested in your games I just want your money, I just think it's funny That you out and hating, think you taking something from me Yeah, been shitting on me just to get my attention I've been down this road, I done learned me this lesson before yeah. I ain't got time to be stressing, I'm counting these blessings So fuck you and all of the rest of these yeah. Change the way that I behave Focus, tried to find my way Stumbled on my time and place See, I done chased the minor things